Hey everyone, Doug at Convology here with another quick little tutorial for Thrive Architect. Today I'm going to show you how you can get objects like images and icons to float left or right within a column element. So here we have my little test site and we have an icon and some text and we're going to uh, look at why this doesn't float left or right. So if I click on the icon and I go to the layout and position tab and I say okay I want that to be left aligned and I want it to float, so I'll click that checkbox. You'll notice that nothing happens. Uh, no matter what you do, that's not going to float. The fix is actually really simple. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add in a new column section. Just going to mimic this exactly. And instead of putting the icon and the text directly within the column, like you, you might think is normal to do, instead we're going to add a content box. And within that content box, we're going to add our icon. And let's just choose the same icon. Let's make that icon a little bit bigger to illustrate the point. And let's go ahead and add a text element directly below the icon. And let's go ahead and now, because we are, if you look in the breadcrumbs within a content box, let's do the same thing. Let's go to layout and position, align left and float. You'll notice that now it works perfectly. And if you don't like that the text is bumping right up against that, you can add a little bit of a padding, uh, whatever kind of styling you want to do. So that's really all there is to it. The lesson here today is that whenever you're working with elements in columns, it's almost always best to put those within a content box. Uh, so again, we have our icon and our text within a content box and you can take away all the padding and the margin. Sometimes those things are governed by your theme, but take away the padding and the margin and it will be as if they're not within anything at all. It's just an outer box. And the important thing about doing that, in addition to getting this to actually work, is it follows the outside in design principle that Thrive really likes to uh, promote. Essentially, you don't want to change the elements themselves. You want to change them within the content box or the outer container if possible. So for example, instead of editing the color of the text by clicking on the text and then clicking on the color option, instead we'll go to the content box topography and from there, of course, we can change our text color or do whatever we want. So again, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions about getting alignments or floating to work within uh, columns, feel free to visit the blog post. I'll have a, uh, the link in the comment below. Um, or if you're already on the post watching this video, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to help you. Thanks for watching.